Hello, hello, my beautiful blessed angels. I am so thrilled to be here today. I'm Prairie Vintage. My name's Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube, and I use spirits, my intuition, the tarot to communicate energies to you guys, amazing viewers. Second reading of the day, and I'm so, so, so pumped because this came through very strong. Spirit is recognizing you for a job well done and your soul growth, your soul journey, and you are being rewarded by the universe with this great blessing. And so we have a sneaky peek at what this is about. If you clicked on this video and you're new to this channel, welcome and surprise. Here is your big blessing. The universe is recognizing your spiritual, soulful growth, whatever work you've done on self. And I do feel as though the collective coming to this reading has been learning about self and doing a lot of healing. And so this is coming through as a very specific message for your recognition, your reward from the universe, a blessing coming to you in regards to sort of a, um, a job well done from the universe. Okay. So this is a pick a card. We're looking at three options to choose from now lean into your intuition so that you know exactly which pile is calling to you. If you're pulled to multiple piles is absolutely fine because there could be multiple aspects in regards to whatever this blessing is coming your way. Okay. So use your intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear to determine whichever pile feels right to you. We're using the Akashic Tarot because this is coming from the Akashic Records here, um, revealing to you the exact blessing coming your way in regards to a recognition for a job well done, a reward from the universe to you, a big blessing. And thank God, because <laughs> I was really wanting to deliver some sort of positive news here for all of you guys um, going through your spiritual journey. So I can't wait to reveal these. If at any point you're pulled to these cards, the timestamp will be in the description box and the pinned comment below will reveal these shortly and we will pull a charm as well and see what it is exactly pulling through. So option one, option two, option three, let's reveal your options and then we will pull a charm. Option one, you guys have the light of the world. Oh my goodness. Number 10, the light of the world. Option number two, you guys have setting your course, the three of scrolls. See the beautiful rainbow, three of scrolls, setting your course. Option number three, you guys have the queen of keys. Queen of Keys. All right, let's pull a charm. I'm going to get the booklet out of here. <clears throat> For option one, your charm is this beautiful peacock. I'll hold it up a little longer. I don't know if you guys got to see that peacock. Option number two. You guys have a tree almost resembling this peacock very similar look at that energy tree option number three you guys have this honeycomb shape hexagonal shape shapes put together kind of <clears throat> reminds me of a hive so I'm gonna move these down here so you guys can sit with this energy take your time and like I mentioned if you're pulled to multiple piles absolutely fine use your intuition what you will see feel or hear to determine whether the messaging is right for you and I will put the timestamp in the description box in the pinned comment below it will take you directly to your pick and I will see you there Hello, my beautiful pile one. Oh my goodness. I am so thrilled to be doing this reading for you. You're being recognized for a job well done on your journey. And we're looking at what is this blessing, this reward that the universe is bestowing upon you in recognition of everything you've kind of gone through in this soul growth. And 
this beautiful energy is pulling through here with the light of the world and this peacock energy. So I'm feeling for this group, you've done a lot, a lot of soul growth and working with your ego and connecting to your divine self. And the first thing I heard here was your light is being recognized. You're being revealed here to the world in all your glory, like this beautiful peacock. Okay. And so your inner light is being shined to the world, your pure essence of who you are and what you're here to do. So the blessing here is you and your full authentic self delivering your pure self to the world. Okay. And this has been done through you being very conscious, very aware, very present and answering the calls of the universe here. So the universe has been guiding you. The universe has been pulling at you. The universe is wanting you to align yourself with the greatest truth, which is your calling and what you were put on this earth to do. Your talents, which I feel here are very spiritual. Okay, very spiritual here. And so I feel like the universe has been calling, pulling to you. And you've been really recognizing parts of self that you've been shedding and parts of yourself that you're allowing to come out that might have been hidden for a very long time okay so i'm getting hermit energy from this guy with a lantern which it could be you resonate with a virgo okay it could be that you've been in hibernation for some time here with the hermit energy okay really reflecting on self really sort of um meditating tapping into your your inner truth your spirituality a greater purpose of self and now you're ready to come out ready to be seen ready to express yourself and be seen to light up the world okay be recognized by the world for this beautiful sort of talent and i feel as though when you started this journey you were um not conscious not aware not present and so this has been quite the journey in awakening and this has been quite the journey in you seeing your true light so that you can deliver your true light to the world. So you're coming into this beautiful energy. Let's see, what is this beautiful gift blessing that the universe is rewarding you with? A well-deserved gift. So we have 25 or the number seven, speaking your word, voice. Look at that. Self-expression, your light. Your true authentic self being revealed, shining out. Okay, no longer playing small. Seven is all about faith, wisdom, reflection, which we were getting and understanding. Understanding self, being able to express an authentic voice and speaking your word. So I feel like this is all about an, uh, an inner truth being ex ex um, revealed to the world. Clover. The most positive card in the Lenormand deck, which is all about luck, fortune. Okay, two is the number of balance, choices. We have the six of pentacles, six of diamonds here, which is all about balance, generosity. Okay, <clears throat> I'm getting Jupiter energy. And Jupiter is a ruling planet for Sagittarius and Pisces. And we have choice with 18, which we were getting with the number two this beautiful card of choice number 18 or the number nine nine this time back to hermit energy virgo coming through again nine is about fruition and completion fulfillment nine is also um the moon reduced which is our intuition and so i was feeling we were really sort of tapping into our greater self here to see a greater truth see beyond an illusion of the ego the forest muddled unclear thinking so that's moon energy which certainly could be where we were sitting when we started this journey we have the bowl plenty of material things and that is speaking of the ego <clears throat> we have 37 with poverty or the number 10, completion, ends of cycle, transformation. We're seeing this massive shift here from where we started. 
And we have soothe. I am receiving, am I receiving peace with the river here? And we have the frog, which is all about clearing the clutter. And we have this bird, which looks like a swift. Soothe. Am I receiving peace? Okay. And we have the cross, number 12 or the number three. And the cross can be the burden we carry. And this could be our faith hanging on to our um, belief here of something greater of, than self. And look at the center of this cross as a, a heart that's shining through here. Okay, and then we have resistance with the uh, soul tree. And right beside that we have realm. We have monk should. Okay, this is all about a, a plant that could appear threatening and it could be decept, uh, deceiving energy appearing as one thing and then turning out to be something else, sort of like a silver lining. So we have the tiger, embrace, touch, and sensuality. Embrace, touch, and sensuality with the tiger. Tiger always gives me divine feminine energy. I'm also getting um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have softly, softly, the tender touch. Number 20. Wow. Embrace touch and sensuality. Softly, softly, the tender touch. And look, she's crying. And she's breathing out some sort of smoke. But it looks very magical, mystical. And speaking your word. Certainly it looks like she's speaking her word. Light of the world which is, like I said, expressing one's self or being seen for one's light, one's truth, but not through um, any easy task because she's been, she's been through it here, I feel. And look at her crown chakra is lighting up with a lotus flower. Wow, okay. And we have two people hand in hand in blue capes and blue is all about the throat chakra self-expression they're both draped in in blue here and they're going through this archway and we see the yin yang masculine feminine balance up above the archway into this uh, green field feels like a liberation here and we have roots number two coming out again so two is all about balance it's also about duality it's also about choices, which we have choice. And this uh, two roots kind of looks like a tower. It looks like a tower here. Okay, so I'm going to just shift these a little bit over. And I'm going to tap into this, see what you're being blessed with here. And I will pull some tarot for some clarity here in a bit. I just need to grab my deck that I forgot to pull. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let me sit with this energy. Okay, pile one. So there's a lot of confirmation here for you to understand whether this is your pile or not. And then we'll get into what's coming in here as a blessing. <clears throat> so the struggle is real here of where you began because I feel like you really began from the bottom up. And when I'm saying bottom, it's having to really sort of fight your way through shedding a lot of things in your life that were keeping you in a Five pentacle energy, okay? Lack mindset, struggling, feeling very low energetically, feeling on the outs, feeling like the universe might have been unfair, feeling not appreciated, maybe not even loved, okay? Struggling here, and for some of you guys it could be financially, but I feel like energetically it's just felt like a low. And I feel you've been in this energy for quite some time. 
navigating through the unknown here and listening to the knock of spirits and the guidance of spirit for some time trying to find your way not knowing where it was going to lead having to work with the universe and trust the universe and release a lot of things in your world like mindsets and material things that potentially have had to fall away here that you might have been attached to at one point in time okay and spirit is saying that you could have chose to stay in sort of a lack mindset in a world here that um, would continue to sort of enforce your your mindset of whatever beliefs you, you wanted to hang on to but there's a recognition here that you chose to step beyond any of this sort of low vibe energy in order for you to find a greater peace for yourself and so you enter the unknown by releasing a lot of things that might have been scary to release at the time but your trust and your faith in detaching from things that weren't allowing you to grow weren't allowing you to move forward we're getting in the way of you living your life's purpose and speaking your authentic truth have been a work in progress for you to detach and to release and so I feel like it's been a struggle and very painful for you to detach from these things. You might have fought the universe at some point. It might have seemed very difficult for you to trust, okay, what you're seeing and, and what the universe was asking you to do. And here the universe is saying that your struggle has come to a point here where you're walking through this clearing, okay, and you don't need to feel alone anymore. Help is coming. Help is coming in this world for you to enjoy, for you to find balance here, for you to express and communicate a greater truth. And this experience has been one to pull out of you your, your purpose, your calling here, okay? Your calling here, how whatever your specific thing is to this world, your contribution. And so I feel like the energy of feeling alone the energy of feeling like a struggle or a challenge is all in the past here. You've answered the calling of the universe. And so there's a big shift here in your world. You are laying the foundation, the roots for what is to come here. And you're creating a whole new reality here for yourself. Okay, but I feel you are going to see it in the 3D in front of you. It's no longer just some sort of... Um, intuitive belief you have to hang on to here or some faith you have to hang on to you don't have to carry the burden of the struggle alone because there's someone coming okay and, and this energy that's coming is walking beside you here in the 3d world and so i feel like the challenge has been one of having to walk alone and having to use your own sort of um faith to whether you could trust the path or not and what decisions you can trust or not if you could trust yourself or not especially when you felt you didn't have everything maybe you needed or you felt abandoned or alone to still pull through to still support yourself and navigating through and so at times we could have doubted ourselves we could have resisted the change we could have denied the change but we were able to pick ourselves up and make massive shift and so now you're going to be seen by this beautiful soul for who you truly are and you're going to allow your beautiful authentic light shine to light the world with your purpose here okay whatever your purpose here on, on this world is for but now it is being seen and it is your authentic self so you're being seen for who you are authentically no longer for who you used to be okay and you can see yourself for who you truly are here and so I feel like this clover is talking about great abundance where there was lack an overabundance where there was lack where you felt left out you're now feeling included okay and so the confirmation if you're resonating with this being your pile I feel like it's been scary it's been sad it's been lonely it's been you feeling 
alone, rejected, and dejected here. Okay, but, but I feel like there was a, a faith greater than this. And I feel like you were able to connect with your heart space here to really find a love of self, to really find your authentic sort of light from within, despite what you were seeing on the outside that wasn't really reflective of a true beautiful piece here that you were about to uh, experience. Okay, but I feel like you've had to really do a lot of cleansing, shedding, releasing, detaching, you know, after all the resistance. And so your world, this realm of reality is completely shifting for you here. Okay. And so I'm being called to read this monk should. And then we're going to pull some tarot. But I feel like the blessing is certainly you now no longer being an inner energy of feeling alone and dejected and left out. And you're now being supported and hugged by the universe here with this embrace, touch, and sensuality. Softly, softly, the tender touch. Okay, so monk should. Monk should, also known as aconite. Wolfsbane and Devil's Helmet is both beautiful and dangerous. Due to Monkshid's highly poisonous nature, the herb has underworld associations, is sacred to Hecate, and historically has been used for invocations. The herb's bee-drawing flowers, which resemble the heads of hooded and cloaked figures, along with its tall stature, give a guardian-like feeling to the plant. This visual similar similarity may feed into the lore that monks should will warn people when danger is near, though it is a deadly being itself. The phase cloak and dagger conjures up ideas of intrigue, secrecy, and mystery. And now it's time to give a little more thought to the reality of a potentially dangerous situation. It's time to draw your cloak close to your body, avoid being noticed, and be ready to defend yourself just in case. Interesting, you're talking about cloaks. We have a tendency to view guardian spirits as friendly and welcoming in nature, but that's not true for all who may aid us. Though some may be distant and cold, they still are up to the task, regardless of the preconceptions about them. Monk should embodies the saying, the witch who cannot hex cannot heal. Magic is neither black nor white, good nor bad. It's how we apply it and take responsibility for actions that matters most. One person's poison can be another person's miracle cure, all from the same source. So what is this saying? There's no good, there's no bad. And without understanding the lows, we couldn't appreciate and understand the highs. Okay, so why we were experiencing what we were needing to experience was to see a greater truth here. And so now we're being supported here. Okay, this is now support from the universe in the opposite way for us to enjoy, enjoy a true reality here because we were able to really sort of sit in the, in the despair, understand the black so we can understand the white. Okay, now I feel as though the universe is saying it is time for you to come together here and be protected here who's also sort of experienced potentially the same thing here with this blue cloak which is reflecting um self-expression okay and this could certainly be someone who is also expressing a similar sort of light as you to the world so let's pull some tarot here and see what is it that pile one is being blessed with here spirits what is pile one being blessed with here a little more information here a sneaky peek at this beautiful reward this beautiful blessing this congratulations to pile one for a job well done on their journey what is this blessing all about so we have the wheel of fortune in reverse jupiter energy sagittarius and pisces and look at the peacock in the background here the peacock's tail the King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Spirit, what is Pile One being blessed with? 
We have the Fool, Aquarius Energy. I'll take the one that's revealed under this pile, which is Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Healing and Balance. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse here, Spirit? Why is the King of Pentacles here in reverse? And we have the Nine of Wands, and that's the Wounded Warrior. We have the King of Cups in reverse, and we have the Nine Swords, and under that we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, under that we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so Pile 1, I think you haven't received your blessing yet, clearly, I mean, you're here. And you might be right at the point of sort of this turning point, right at the archway, okay? And generally when they're on the last leg, the stretch, we're exhausted. We're really exhausted here because we've been wandering, okay? A test of endurance here, of suffering, of suffering, where's the cross? And so I feel like we're in this energy of trying to get to the other side, feeling very alone and yeah, just feeling very alone here, okay? So anxiety is most likely high. Lots of anxiety here. And I feel like we're at the point where we just can no longer take it to no more. Help is on the way. That's Ten of Wands in reverse. That means you no longer have to carry the burden alone. You've walked away from certain things in your world that you've had to let go, release, okay? You had to release a lot of things here. And I feel like you feel as though things could certainly feel very stuck here okay like the universe has you stuck things haven't moved fortune hasn't been good you've been sort of sitting in this poverty energy okay but this is about to get balanced here and this was all about you balancing your energy just like the monk should in order to understand the beautiful light to experience the beauty here to connect with heart space we kind of have to experience the opposite and so we're finding balance through this experience in order for us to heal in order for us to be in an energy here Okay, so I feel like we still haven't built our empire here, whatever it is that we could rely on, commit to, it still hasn't revealed itself. And Spirit is saying, you are right at the point here with this nine wands, okay? You haven't given up, so you're recognized for your persistence. You're a spiritual warrior, and there's one wand left, okay? And this wand isn't one you're having to carry because the ten of wands in reverse the Ten of Wands comes after the Nine of Wands, okay? And the Ten of Wands in reverse is you no longer have to carry the burden alone. Help is on its way, which was coming through with this and which I was hearing, okay? So help's on its way. You're able to release the burden, to trust the universe, to have a new beginning here, okay? And this new beginning, this new journey is going to be nothing like what you've experienced. If you experience suffering, loss, unclear things, muddled thinking, darkness, Having to carry burden, you're now experiencing the opposite here, okay? You're trusting the universe to move forward. You no longer have to be in anxiety, okay? And so where there was block here, in which you were being able to create, okay, this is your greatest love to the world. This is your greatest connection in your heart space here. You're unable to connect to this and give it to the world and let the light shine through you because you've been on the path of trying to uncover this sort of journey, if you will, uncover the truth, uncover your pure light so that you could connect to this beautiful creative energy, this this heart uh, intuitive light that's wanting to come through in order for you to fulfill your life's purpose here. That's the new journey that you're on. It's unfulfilled. It hasn't been established yet, okay? Because all you've sort of experienced here has been anxiety, having to carry burden, and releasing, detaching, and walking away. And so you feel like things could seem backwards. You could feel like the universe is stuck. But this has all been you balancing energies, healing through this process, walking away from things that don't serve you, allowing energy to shift and the right people to come in here to support you so that your purpose can now align with you being able to express its authenticity because you haven't yet been able to express authentically. Okay, but that's what this new journey is, this new beginning. But we had to release shed. Okay, so we're gonna dive in a little deeper. We're gonna dive in a little deeper. I love this clover energy here. 
and see if we can get a peek here at what you have to look forward to here. Now, Spirit might want to just sort of confirm that things are turning here for you, you know, and to trust that this beautiful energy is, is shifting. And I do want to see, you know, who is this support coming through for you? So we have Six of Swords. We're coming out of difficulty. We're moving forward. Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment, or rowing towards our emotional fulfillment, what we can create. Our aligned emotional fulfillment is going to be from a pure place here. It's no longer something someone is wanting us to be, or what we were sort of towing the, the, the line. We were carrying the burden. We're now enjoying emotional fulfillment for ourselves that's coming from a pure place of creation, of intuition, of love, okay? Nine of Cups comes from a heart space, a pure heart space. So let's see, what is pile one rowing towards here? What is this beautiful supportive energy we see here? Nine Wands, so we're at the final stretch here. You're being recognized for your resilience. And this is the spiritual warrior. What is this? Six swords. This has been very, very slow getting out of this uh, forest energy. Look at that. Ten pentacles. So where we were reverse king of pentacles, where we were feeling pover poverty. This is now the lottery win. Ten pentacles. This is also a very long time coming. So this has been ongoing for quite some time here with the ten of pentacles. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You've been without a job for quite some time or not finding the right um, career. This is certainly coming for you. Okay, like a career you can commit to. Something you can actually invest in here. That's going to have long-term stability for you. Now we have the Emperor. Agency of your own life, getting empowered. Maybe running your own business, becoming the boss. So we go from being sort of the unemployed person to running our empire here in control of the empire. Completely happy. Okay. And I feel like this is your calling because I feel like whatever it is that you're going to be doing is you shining the light of authenticity and purity of what you want to do for yourself. You being in charge of your own employ, creating your own empire. Okay, this is the Empire card with the Ten of Pentacles built over time. And the Emperor certainly is the head of the Empire here, okay? And so we have the Five of Cups in reverse. So we're coming out of poverty. We're coming out of looking at the things that are not going well. We're coming out of an energy of Five Cups, you know, of, of sadness, of regret, of where things didn't work out. Look at that, a new beginning. Ace of Cups, and this is all about self, okay, where we can truly be overflowing, emotionally happy, and we have the Nine of Cups with the Ace of Cups is a Ten Cups. So for some of you guys, I feel there is, with a Ten Cups and a Ten Pentacles, building a committed future here with someone coming in who can speak your language, who can support you, who can contribute here to whatever empire you're building, but you're in charge. Okay, you're in charge of building this beautiful empire. Okay, but I feel like you no longer need to, to carry the burden. So if your sole purpose here is to align yourself with someone here who can, who already has an established sort of empire, who is like CEO energy, boss energy, and this is who's coming in here to provide you with stability that makes you emotionally happy here. Okay, you can have a new beginning, but I feel like you're coming from battle and you have one wand left, and you don't know if you have it in you, okay? And Spirit is saying you do. You're moving out of difficult time here. So I'm going to dig into this other energy here, because I feel for some of you guys, you guys are this emperor getting empowered, taking agency of your own sort of accord here to build your empire. And for some of you guys, you're just coming into contact with someone here who's already has an empire here, who is able to support you. Get you off your feet. You no longer have to struggle, battle. Okay? You no longer have to be in the outs. So, let's see here. Spirit. Who's this energy coming in here for pile one? 
can we get a sneaky peek at the energy coming in here to support pile one clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile one please protect me and the viewer as a channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile one What's this energy coming in here And one more. Nine of Swords. There's the anxiety. Four of Wands. This is my union. Okay, this is coming together. This is marriage. This is building the structure that will last. This is a rite of passage, meeting our soul tribe. This is also my 1111, which could signify twin flames. It's coming into union celebration. So we have the three wands in reverse. We have the high priestess, Pisces energy. We have the five swords in reverse. We have the six of cups in reverse. We have the eight of swords in reverse. We have the page of wands. And we have the sun in reverse, Leo energy. And we have the queen of wands. Okay. Oh, yeah, under the Nine of Swords, we have the Four of Wands, and under that, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, Spirit is confirming. There is a lot of anxiety. We're not seeing right now how we can have a coming together or build security stability, okay, here with someone. And I feel like the someone coming in here is going to change your world as you know it. With the Nine Swords and the One Sword is Ten Swords, okay? So, the suffering is coming to an end the understanding you might have of not being able to sort of build something stable, structural here is coming to an end, okay? You being sort of stuck here, not being able to progress and move forward is coming to an end because you've done the work here with this eight swords in reverse. You've come out and released any sort of limitation that you had upon yourself, mental limitation, okay? The mental limitation, and we were stuck in some sort of mental prison that we were unable to create or move on or move forward. And so I feel like you're being blessed with this beautiful energy of exploration. Okay, your creative pursuit here with the High Priestess, it's something that really speaks to you. You know, this is connecting to our um, divine path that we intuitively know is right for us, connecting with our psychic abilities, with the divine and we're exploring this, okay? We can explore this and get out of five sword situations that were keeping us stuck in challenge. And so I feel like Spirit is showing the sun is rising here. Clarity around this energy coming through to support you is coming through. And for a lot of you guys, you already know who this person is with the six cups because this is a soulmate who hasn't left your side, okay? With the six of cups in reverse. So this is... A soulmate who hasn't left your side, someone you were unable to sort of release here, okay? Someone you were unable to release here, and I feel like you've manifested this person. You've manifested this person with the Queen of Wands. You've been able to draw in this energy that I feel has been there, okay? And maybe this energy hasn't been able to be supportive up until now. Maybe this energy hasn't been able to show you anything. Okay, but I feel that's coming to an end here with the nine and the and the ace of wands. Okay, ten, sorry, not wands, swords. The nine and the ace of swords is coming to an end with ten swords. Okay, this is coming together to build the stability here. So this is my soulmate's card here. Okay, in reverse, it's sort of an inability to move, uh, not move on from a person, place, or thing of the past. And in this case, I'm asking about this person just showing up as a soulmate here who hasn't moved on, hasn't moved forward, hasn't been able to detach, has been manifested and is being pulled by your energy, is very attracted to your energy here because you're coming through as this beautiful queen of wands, which I'm feeling you're also very highly pulled to this person, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Pisces energy, and the fact that we were seeing the emperor, that's Aries energy as well. So double confirmation here. So I'm going to pull a card here on this Six Cups for this Reverse Six Cups and this Soulmate. What is this Six Cups? This person has not been able to sort of move forward or move on from 
your energy. So this could be someone you've known for a very long time as child, as children from childhood. Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this could certainly be a very confusing situation that was not very clear. This person might have not have known how to reach you. They might have just haven't been able to come around to choosing to take action here. Okay, the manifestation never really happened in Seven of Cups in reverse. This is coming out of this forest now clear. Okay, having to choose certainty, having to get clear, having to not be sort of in, in confusion or just living in fantasy. So this person I do feel might have fantasized about what they could do, how they could sort of move forward or choose to come forward here to support you. You know, and I feel this person's coming out of some fantasy world, coming out of some muddled thinking in order to take action with the emperor here in manifesting a coming together with the four of wands here. Okay, so someone from the past, I feel, is kind of coming in as this heroic energy to support you, to get to the ten wands off your back so you can enjoy. And I feel like not only do you enjoy, look at this sun, it's so hot, everything is, is melting and burning. I feel like this is a, a burning passion, a burning desire. And I feel like this is, yeah, like everything that you've kind of gone through is sort of water under the bridge. Like it, it doesn't even compare here. Everything sort of melted, you know, and I'm, get, I'm being pulled back to this touch and sensuality, softly, softly, the tender touch. It's like this person has made everything sort of seem irrelevant in some sort of way here. And everything's sort of blended together here in a way when we see the light, the happiness that we could create here. But I feel like the sun still hasn't risen yet because I feel like we're still just right at the doorway here. You know, we're right at the doorway here. So I feel like this is what you're coming into here and why you might have experienced some challenge here. And we're having to remain faithful, okay? Remain faithful here in order for things to clear up here with this person. Look at that. Our wish coming true at the bottom of the deck. That's uh, Aquarius energy. This is getting our long-term dream, our vision. And so this is a fantasy card. This star could be our fantasy because it's something we see and we, we try to attain it. We can't quite grasp the star. We know we want and we wish upon a star for it. And I feel like whatever wish you had here, okay, with this is Six of Cups in reverse, I feel like it's always been sort of energetically attached to you, but it hasn't been able to manifest just yet. And so you've been manifesting this through your whole experience here. And you don't have to live through this challenging sort of energy anymore. You're finding peace. You're finding happiness. You're getting your wish. And certainly with the clover here, this is um, big energy of luck and also material wealth. Okay. Because we saw the pentacles and we're seeing the emperor here. So beautiful pile one. This is a beautiful reading. I hope this resonated for you. I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, beautiful. Pile number two. You guys pick the three of scrolls, setting your course, and the tree charm here. So interesting scene we see here with the ship, which is all about movement. It's also about travel. So some of you guys could certainly um, be experiencing um, having to travel to a, a different location here. But we're looking at this big blessing, this reward from the universe, okay? This sort of congratulations, job well done, and I don't feel you see this big blessing sort of coming towards you or coming into fruition here for you. So we're looking at what this could be about. So setting your course, I feel like you've been very focused, okay? You've been very focused on what it is you want to attain or maybe where it is you want to move towards, okay? And... Uh, I feel as though with the the um, book definition here, it's talking about broadening our perspectives and allowing whatever might unfold rather than being very sort of set in one sort of idea or understanding. But I'm getting the fact that whatever you had your eye on, I feel is the thing here that you're moving towards. Okay, I feel this is the thing that you haven't been able to sort of... Um, let out of your sight and i feel like it is your your hope and it is something that spirit is wanting you to remain um faithful to here with this rainbow okay so i feel like you have been i feel you haven't let it off your your 
site, but I, I feel like it hasn't moved and I feel like it's about to move or embark here towards this thing. Okay, so setting your course and here's the tree, which is all about stability. It's also about our, our um, ancestors and it, it's about security and potentially even just planting the roots here to something that could be long term and stable. So I feel like whatever it is that you had your eye on, whatever it was here that you were wanting to move towards is moving closer towards attaining whatever this is. And it is something that is going to provide you with a lot of security here with this tree. Okay, stability and security. So let's take a look at what this um, big blessing is all about. So I have 40 with building atoms. Wow. Okay, now number four. Number four is also about uh, stability, structures, and foundation. And we have the sun. Look at this beautiful energy. 31, also number four. So now we have two fours and a tree, all about stability, security. Sun is Leo energy. This is clarity, certainty. Wow. Clearly seeing here. The Orion gate with the 3 3. 33 is about reproduction creativity, humor, Christ consciousness, joy, and harmony. Harmony coming through right by the sun energy, the Orion gate. Okay, and we have rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So we'll see how this comes into play. Now, don't take words so literal. Uh, it's more energy, and rooster could certainly be divine masculine energy here, very prominent energy, getting Aries energy, emperor energy could be somebody who is quite stubborn and I feel it's your energy coming through as someone who is very dedicated and stuck and fixed on what you where you wanted to go like you were very committed to getting there seeing this through in some way here and look at two ships this one's more of a rowboat but this is about movement and it's like I said it could be that you're needing to travel to whatever this thing is physically Box, you will receive a gift. Beautiful. So this box is closed. We don't know what this gift is, but I feel it's a treasure. And so because we're at sea here, what is this treasure at sea? Interesting. Let's see. So we have message number seven. So the phone, an ink pot, some letters, an open letter message. So message could be a formal letter, communication coming through. Seven is about faith, wisdom, reflection, and understanding. It is also chariot energy, and chariot is about travel movement as well. Wow, lots of travel coming through here. Okay, where is my strength with endurance? Or endure, I should say. So I'm getting that endurance, that, uh, that dedicated sort of committed rooster energy determined. Okay, and I'm getting stability here from the elk, in which we were getting from the tree, something secure. Where is my strength? Injure with the elk. And we have the moon and the sun, masculine, feminine energy. We have 43 with the tombstone, or the number seven pulling through again. Chariot energy pulling through. And the, the tombstone is about a release of something here, or leaving something behind. Okay, that's the death. Okay, we have new growth. So yes, after the death, there's definitely new growth. Scorpio energy coming from the tombstone. We have stuck. So I felt like the ship was stuck. It wasn't moving. Okay, it's been stuck for some time, I feel. Mandrake. Mandrake. And bear, surrender to truth. Bear is also the sort of very fixed energy could be very stubborn we have 26 relax the hold of darkness and be at cause relax the hold of darkness and be at cause 26 or the number eight it is the strength in the tarot which is knowing when to be held back when to move forward so we have these two people and it kind of looks like this smaller person is holding up their fists to this bigger person. 
I'm kind of getting David and Goliath here, you know, being the underdog and sort of standing up or standing up to the bully. Okay. And then here we have the key opening the door. And this is giving me new, new growth, an answer to open the door, solution to open the door to potentially a problem or something's been stuck. And we have exceptionality with 33. And 33, again, reproduction, creativity, humor, race consciousness, joy, and harmony. So you guys got 33 twice. So you might want to Google the angel number 3333 and see specifically what that's about. You might be seeing four threes. So we have exceptionality and take a look at this interesting picture. We have two people in a doorway here observing someone who looks like they're... Um, amidst some sort of travel here pulling the unexpected pulling the unexpected okay and and we have keys look at that keys where we're seeing the key right here keys are all about solutions and the answers here this person's blindfolded okay so let me sit here with this energy pile too and I'll get into channeling what this is. Okay. Pile two. I feel there was um, a stuck energy of something potentially you've never given up on. Okay. Something you never gave up on. And maybe other people didn't believe you. Or you've had to go against the grain, or you were the odd man out, or you were just not with the populace here. There was something here maybe you couldn't prove, but yet you believe to be true. And other people might have been against you or not seeing your vision. Might have been that you felt alone or not supported by these people. Okay, and so I feel like this has been something you've had to work through and navigate. But I feel like you couldn't prove or move towards what you always knew to be sort of what it was that you were wanting to create, what it was you were wanting to see, what it was that you had beliefs about, okay, but were feeling at, dis at a distance from it. But I feel like you never sort of lost hope because I feel like you understood something about this beautiful thing that you could manifest and build as something that is secure, something that is long-term for you, okay? But I feel like you felt almost, um, yeah, like you had to do it alone here. And I feel like maybe you had somebody who was um, the main op oppressor here, who was holding you back, who was denying your truth, or who was um, bullying you, or just not believing in you. You know, was not believing in you, keeping you sort of stuck. And I feel like well, what this beautiful blessing is here is you being rewarded with the key, the answer to free yourself and liberate yourself from the situation here. You are moving towards the beautiful thing here. You remain hopeful and now you are free. You are liberated to rebuild and leave behind this person, this situation, whatever was belittling you or keeping you stuck or not believing in you whatever it was here that you had to endure on your own whatever here that yeah just wasn't aligned you know with where you wanted to move to you had big goals big dreams and whoever this energy or person or situation was getting in the way of your dreams building this stability it could be family members it could be just people in your life here who were getting in the way or holding you back or keeping you stuck or not believing in you and so I see you coming into information, okay, or communication that allows you to see exactly how you're going to navigate towards your thing here. Some of you guys might literally be getting communication about travel, okay, like actually be um, given news that you're, you're traveling here, okay, so you're seeing a way to get closer to this thing. This thing is now becoming a reality here for you. It's no longer just a, a vision. It's no longer just sort of something that you've been praying about or believing. 
This is not something that's coming into fruition here. That's going to free you from whatever oppressed person here. So if you've been in a job here that's been very heavy, or maybe you've been with people who have been trying to stifle you or be bossy or just not allow you to move forward, you know, in your own life, because this career has been very just heavy, keeping you back. I see that you have a, a potential opportunity here to travel away from your existing employer. Okay, that's going to free you from this. So it could be with the same company, but now you're under a completely different boss. Maybe you have the freedom now, but I feel like this is freeing you from this energy here. You know, seeing your way out. You can uh, um, have hang, uh, seen a vision of something else you were wanting to do, but just feeling very stuck to maybe a nine to five. And now you get this communication about this beautiful dream coming true here for you to be able to navigate on your own and move towards something here that you've been wanting to do. And so we're leaving behind the old nine to five, or we're leaving behind the, the people here who weren't aligned with that dream or that job or whatever. So I feel like you're entering this beautiful portal here, a gate on the other side, Okay, a gate on the other side here, and all because you were able to maintain hope. You were able to maintain a vision of what you wanted. And so I feel like for a lot of you guys, you weren't quite sure how to get there. And I feel like the unexpected here is you receiving this communication or this solution or this information, this piece of news in regards to how you're going to get there. Okay, how you're going to get there. And like I said, for a lot of you guys, it could be physical travel. Okay, but I, but I feel like you've been very determined in your beliefs, determined to not to let go of your belief here, no matter how oppressed or stubborn other people might have been, or you being oppressed or stubborn other people might have been getting in your way or making you feel like you were oppressed or that they were holding you back. And so I feel like the gift here is the fact that this travel isn't something now, now, when I say travel, this could be literal travel, or this could be you moving towards the dream, the thing that makes it happen. I feel like this is kind of handed to you by the universe with this box. Like, you don't see it coming. The box is closed. You could have never have guessed how you were going to attain the key, blindfolded. But the key comes, you open this door to this new growth, this new chapter in your life. You know, but you might have always known that you wanted to pursue, I don't know, an acting career, a singing career, your own sort of business um, be the CEO of a company here, but there was someone sort of in the way, whatever the dream you had, I think it was a big dream, or at least it was a vision of something that was very aligned with what you were wanting here. And I feel like it comes to you in an unexpected way of you receiving information to make this a reality that you can act upon. And that is the information that allows you to open that door. Okay. But I feel like it involves you leaving behind certain thing in your world that was keeping you sort of stuck and not allowing you to break free and move forward here. So we're going to pull some tarot here, okay? And we're going to get a deeper sort of look. Actually, before I do that, I'm now being called to read this Mandrake. It's so interesting, this book is being pulled twice now in pile one as well. So Mandrake is another verb. Sorry, verb. Oh my goodness, this is another herb that has a long history with witchcraft and a great deal of lore linking it to fertility, sexual vigor, prosperity, and longevity. So we are seeing endurance here. Okay, we're endure. Um, okay, one common mandrake myth is that the herb emits deadly screams when pulled from the ground, killing anyone with an earshot. As mandrake is difficult and temperamental plant to grow, the story may have been spread by magical practitioners to discourage other people from over-harvesting the herb to obtain its powers. The most curious thing about mandrake is that its thick uh, taproot has a tendency with a little imagination to resemble the homunculus or miniature human being. This familiarity has earned mandrake a special place in witches' hearts and the multitude of applications in sympathetic magic. So messages, love is in the air and you should take in the aroma for yourself. Allow your heart to open to romance and it shall find its way to your doorstep. Someone is trying to spread stories, rumors about you to scare you off and prevent you from achieving your goal. Oh my goodness, did we not say? Get to the root of what? Is your goal valid or could it be potentially harmful? 
They may be jealous, but perhaps you are genuinely concerned about your intention. Practice clarity in your communication and actions. There is no easy or fast road to big rewards that are truly worthwhile. Eschew tantalizing shortcuts and lazy practices. Fully invest the time and care needed to perform a task properly and responsibly. Build any house as if you yourself were going to live in it. Okay. Interesting how it touched on a couple of things. I feel you are being handed something here because you have shown tenacity. I do feel there's someone here that was trying to stifle your growth, get in your way, water your pee on your parade, water your fireworks, whatever you want to call it. And I feel this is something stable and secure that has been something you've been, you know, sticking true to here. So I feel like it hasn't been, you know, just an overnight thing. Because I feel you've had to show endurance. You've had to show the universe that you had faith in attaining it and, and staying true to what you were wanting here. But I feel like it is handed to you here very easily here. You are being handed the key to this, the key, okay, or the keys to this movement to liberate you, to free you from this person. And we see this kind of is giving me gossip or somebody trying to stifle you in some way. So let's pull the tarot just to get a deeper sort of look. For Pile 2 Spirit, can we get a deeper look here in regards to this blessing that Pile 2 is being given here, this beautiful message, Ace of Wands, New Beginning. Look at that, exploring energy. This is also, you know, um, getting very fired up with um, inspiration to make change here. And so we could get that letter, get that communication, which sort of starts a, a wildfire here, okay, with this match, with this Ace of Wands, new beginning, beautiful energy. So we have the Page of Wands in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Moon. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Why is this Page of Wands in reverse? We have the Ten Swords in reverse, and we have the Page of Pentacles in the upright. Why is this Six of Pentacles here? We have the Seven Wands. You're fighting for what you believe in. And then finally, why is this Moon here? Why is this Moon here, Spirit? So we have the Page of Cups. And we have the Ten of Cups. Wow. And under that, we have two pentacles. Okay. So Cancer, Pisces. And that's all I'm seeing here. Okay. So like a match, things ignite here. Okay. I feel like there's an energy here of you no longer having to be in a defensive energy. You have to guard yourself, protect yourself. Okay. Resist whatever. I feel like you can release Throw in the towel wherever you were. You no longer have to remain guarded because there's this new beginning here for you. Okay. And so I feel like your page of wands here in reverse, this is like you no longer having to stay exploring and this energy that you've been kind of stuck in for quite some time here. Because I feel like you've been giving to this situation energetically and it hasn't been showing you any sort of growth it hasn't been showing you any new ways to explore and so i feel like there is a new way for you to explore that you haven't been able to because of someone's energy sort of getting in the way here okay so i feel like there's a release here and this release here is a slow transition as you slowly make your way out and, and release the things that were keeping you stuck in order to go explore so it's an easy transition I feel like uh, the blessing here is the overlap that if you are to, let's say, move, you still have a place to sort of stay, you know, in the interim, or if you give your notice here or where, wherever this person is sort of involved, I feel like it's a smooth transition to you closing out to that chapter for you to enter into this new world of opportunity as you close out the old okay so i don't feel it's like as abrupt as it 
um, like as an overnight shift here. And it's for a very good reason because I feel like it's a, a transition that you're needing in order for you to safely, securely get into this new opportunity here because I feel like there's still a lot of unknown. Okay, so although it is um, this beautiful new journey, I feel like there's a lot of unknown here and there might be a lot of fear because I feel like what you're rowing away or closing out in your world is something maybe you were tied to for quite some time. And so there's always fear about the unknown. Okay, but I feel like this is liberating you. You no longer have to fight and defend yourself here. And so I feel like you have this beautiful new page energy of exploring, but it's through a heart space here of a genuine love, wanting to create and connect and be with this beautiful, um, yeah, like creative energy, but relearning about ourselves. But I feel like there's a lot we don't see and there might be fear that we don't know what the future holds here. Okay, but I feel like uh, this is... Um, us being able to sort of explore with a child's mindset here uh, an area where we hold the higher ground like you have the position of advantage here in this new exploration and the fact that we have a transition out of the old okay allows you to do this and i feel like you go quickly from this sort of novice page pe uh, page of cups energy to this beautiful ten of cups emotional fulfillment here okay this is two people coming together to commit to have an emotional fulfillment Okay, but we, we can choose this, and I feel like you choose to open the door with the information or the key or the knowledge that you have to move towards and make that choice. Okay, but I do feel like maybe you take the time to really consider it, to sit here, you know, to slowly detach, to slowly release, to close, close, slowly close that chapter in order for you to explore the new chapter in the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel you no longer want to work with that job place, that person, that environment, it no longer becomes something that is workable for you. And so I feel like you're really pulled by your heart and your passion towards something that has been firing you up here. So let's get a final message here for pile two, because I feel like this beautiful gift you'll receive is your opportunity for you to make headway towards your dream. So what is it about this beautiful gift that pile two needs to know about this blessing from the universe coming their way so there's this liberating energy plus there's this beautiful new energy of what you get to explore here you know and although it might be unknown it's much better than feeling stuck and feeling like you're oppressed by someone holding you back here knight of wands wow yeah it's very fired up to move towards this six of swords there's that stuck energy okay feeling like you were stuck with this five sword situation it seemed like it was unmovable or you couldn't break out you couldn't explore or move out of that energy there's the moon energy so there might be a lot of fear in breaking out of the six swords moving out of sometimes when we're you know attached to people who are oppressing us or jobs that are make us feel like maybe we need to be sort of relying on them i feel like there is some fear in moving forward from this thing but i feel like you have all the time in the world here because there's that slow transition you know you hold the key to open that door whenever you want and so i feel like this new growth is you slowly easing into this in a, in a way that allows you to move forward to explore this new territory so there is no need for you to you know have to um feel any sort of anxiety eight of wands there's that forward movement that's quick movement as well so i think once you get going here once you get going i think you really enjoy it because this is breaking out of jail here with this eight wands you know this is like very quick moving energy this is forward movement breaking out seven wands you have the higher ground now the position of advantage okay all this wands passion knight of wands eight of wands seven wands to move out of that six swords situation here through the pentacles to a place you can work with to people you can build with things that you can build okay that are very solid look at this okay he's building a, a brick house okay and this is collaborating coming together working with another working with an entity or an enterprise that you can build here okay you have the the, the um, higher ground here but i feel like there is some sort of 
fear here in releasing and moving away from the oppressor or this situation but i feel the universe is has your back here okay has your back throughout this sort of shift this change four swords yeah i feel like you contemplate you could take your time you almost get a pause here to reflect with the two pentacles i think you sit there on the wall we were seeing reflecting contemplating you know looking at the unknown here maybe having hesitant some fear about it but i feel like you make the decision and once you make the decision this is a forward movement you break out okay it is you break out of your mindset because i feel like your mindset might have kept you in this oppressed situation for some time you know and so we have to release this person we have to let it sort of die off so i'm going to see what is this moon about here can i get clarity on this moon energy because i am feeling it is fear getting big moon energy here as well and look this is rowing towards the moon the uncertainty you know even though we might have fear we're sort of led with this lantern okay we're led by that vision we had here into the fear moon doesn't stop us from moving towards it because the fear is the unknown i feel here what we we don't know exactly how it's going to be in the new world but we know it's more reliable we know there's an opportunity to build but we can't see you know we can't see it from where we're at so nine of cups look at that so although we might fear it although we might not see clearly it's leading us to this beautiful nine cups your emotional fulfillment okay and cups is all about our creativity what we love being emotionally fulfilled and i feel like you're absolutely going towards something that is emotionally fulfilling from something that's been holding you back beautiful pal too okay i hope this resonates for you and yeah congratulations here i feel like you're getting exactly what you want you know to build exactly what you want here because of your tenacity your vision to stay and remain hopeful here so if you haven't heard yet if you haven't been able to confirm this it's coming okay it's coming stay hopeful and you will be liberated and free and remember that whoever is sort of getting in your way here you will find peace in releasing whatever is having you sort of stuck in this energy because i feel like you recognize there is no solid growth here anymore for you okay pile number two i'll see you at the next one Bye bye hello beautiful gorgeous pile number three you guys picked the queen of keys and this honeycomb sort of um hexagonal shape coming together here which is giving me b energy so we're looking at this great blessing sort of coming to you as a congratulations a reward from the universe for job well done here most likely for you going through whatever you've been going through here the universe wants to congratulate you with a gift and an offering so we're looking at what this could be about this beautiful blessing so you pick the queen of keys and this honeycomb i'll call okay so the queen of keys is um gives me queen of pentacles energy okay virgo taurus capricorn but it is um in the book talking about potentially someone who is climbing up the corporate ladder you know somebody who is making themselves established potentially in business maybe an entrepreneur or just yeah like someone pretty solid reliable it can also represent um a partnership okay a partnership because she is looking at someone coming her way or she could be someone you're moving towards okay so i don't know if we're seeing partnership so much yet but i do see here uh, with the honeycomb which is working together okay so we could be talking about a business partner we could be talking about meeting you know the partner that helps us put together the thing we've been trying to put together the book the look and she's holding a book the manuscript the project you know the perfect partner okay but in in the in the in the book it talks about her looking at her husband coming in you know coming in sort of from wherever he's been at so this could be multi-layered here okay but i feel like this energy is about working together and i feel like there's something that's not finished just yet because there's honeycomb sort of missing here something incomplete maybe we were waiting for someone or we didn't have the right person to complete something here okay and, and the book is closed so we could be missing some information or not seeing something just yet so let's see what is this beautiful blessing coming in here for pile number three gift from the universe so we have ice with purity and look at this beautiful horse here running 33 wow this kept coming out for pile two and 33 is all, all about reproduction creativity 
okay and i do feel there's something you've created here or about to create potentially with another it's also about joy and harmony and look something's frozen here so something could have been stuck or not being able to be completed just quite yet for whatever reason here we have fish this is all about abundance prosperity 34 so now 33 34 in succession it's almost like we went from picking up right where we left off 33 34 would be the missing piece here it's like a continuation i feel here something very protected okay and we have 30 with ascension into light look at this beautiful card so three is all about growth relationships and the initial success wow very tied okay camel preserve and you will overcome problems so camel can talk about an endurance camels are, are very persistent and they're very determined here you know if a camel has its mindset sort of on whichever way it's going good luck trying to get it to go any other way here very sort of stubborn energies but very persistent here they're able to navigate for long extended periods of time here and get through with resilience and determination and horses are both freedom liberation horsepower getting empowered and the white's all about purity coming from a very pure place here with purity okay so we have despair with 32 or the number five and five is about conflict loss and change and needing to rebuild okay here we have the dog about loyalty and the dog's right at his feet here to despair and we have the privileged lady number 12 or three again growth relationships and initial success three is i've seen three pentacles coming together to build something with another collaborating going from despair to privilege we've had a lot of despair when something came to a halt something was incomplete couldn't be concluded something we worked very hard on or long on what remains what remains what reminds me i'm free with the prairie smoke liberate yeah we're feeling liberation from the horse prairie smoke what reminds me i'm free okay and we have the rat rats are all about annoyances grievances things that sort of could take quite some time you know because a rat could chew at something for quite some time before the damage is sort of amounting to a lot or keeping at something consistently you know until you achieve something and maybe it's been very strenuous for us 28 or the number 10 okay and here we have risk and here we have be open and we have play and we have cave and we have beetle think optimistically hmm, right by be open interesting and we have faith in the process with 32 so you might want to google the angel number 3232 and see what messaging you get here this is having a belief in something greater than yourself here trusting the process a little birdie here on her shoulder so her hair in the braid might be something significant here we'll look two birdies so communication going back and forth between two people well, this person looks a little crazed out okay looks a little surprised maybe it's someone's reaction here someone's reaction here is what i'm feeling and we have 22 with the moon so 22 is another master number okay that's all about peacemaker diplomacy healthy uh, energetic boundaries divinely guided relationships is 22 okay and the moon of course is divine feminine energy could be our subconscious could be fears could be us not seeing very clearly here in the moonlight okay so i'm gonna tap into this energy and see what it is that you're being blessed with here by the universe just give me a minute okay we'll pull tarot to get to more clear but i feel as though you've been either you've worked with someone or you created with someone or you were 
starting something with someone or something, some project, okay, that started, but I feel like it couldn't complete, it couldn't completely come together. And there was like an unfinished sort of symphony here, okay? It didn't completely end or the, the book didn't get completely written or whatever, but I feel like whatever this is, okay, this creation, this manifestation that you were involved with, I do feel there was someone else that needed to engage or be a part of. So we might have needed the publisher, we might have needed the whatever this person to do something or whatever this person's involvement is here. So we were sort of stuck and we became stuck because this person or this opportunity or this situation came to a halt, it feels like. You know, it came to a halt and I feel it's left you devastated here. And look at this body language here from both of these cards, you know. Maybe you're right down on your knees, like, oh no, like, it's never going to move forward. Like, it can't progress from this. Like, I have to throw it in the garbage. It's it's done. All this work, all this effort, all of this time, you know, all of this sort of dedication, uh, you know, me sort of enduring, having to walk through the desert and then only to find out I have to sort of come the other way. And so what Spirit is showing here is that the big blessing is that you're going to get exactly what you want here in great abundance but i feel like you might not see how this is panning out here okay so you're being asked to be very open not to let your sort of vision of what's going to go wrong or what has gone wrong get in the way energetically and so if you're not seeing a way out just yet you will and so i feel like we might not completely um trust or see the solution here when it comes to us because it could be that that person comes up in a way here that we can no longer trust because of our experience of the past so we could be very hesitant okay or we could just be like huh like completely yeah like um at first blush like looking at this sort of proposition that comes in as an opportunity for us is something that might not work but we're being asked to be very open okay and we're asked to sort of not be so much in an energy here of it having to be panning out in the exact way that we're sort of envisioning here because we're pigeoning um pigeonholing this thing in a certain way in a specific way that can only unfold in the same vision that we have here rather than letting the universe sort of unfold what we how we want it to unfold okay trusting the universe to take this risk here but it will be well rewarded we have to trust we don't see it okay but there will be harmony here and if we trust if we allow ourselves to get our, our foot off the sort of the um control or hands off the wheel and let the universe sort of navigate i feel like you're being liberated here you're being freed Whatever was stuck is now going to have a chance here to move forward, okay? You're going to be able to sort of put the last piece together to your puzzle here. And I feel like whoever you were supposed to work with or however it was supposed to happen is coming in here, however it's supposed to, which I feel you don't quite see, you know? And I feel you don't quite trust because of your disappointment, Okay, but I feel like this thing, whatever spirit's showing, is something trustworthy and loyal here with this dog. You are protected. This is going to provide a lot of abundance for you. I think you already know this. So there's no need to sort of stay in your cave here to trust, think optimistically, be open. Okay, with this play, I feel like it's, um, yeah, like instead of maybe seeing something as a risk, we're seeing something as, I don't know, like an opportunity here to, to gain something here. Okay, so let's see. We'll get some more with the tarot spirit for pile three. What is this blessing? This big blessing coming in for pile number three from the universe, this gift. What is this appreciation, this big blessing, this reward for pile three that's coming in here? Thank you so much. So we have seven pentacles in reverse. We gave up on this thing because it, it got halted or we had to give up we were forced to give up we couldn't work on it no more you know maybe the place where we were trying to create it got pulled from under us maybe the rules changed completely like we felt like we couldn't continue anymore five of cups it left us feeling like this five cups 
you know, have I wasted my time? Feeling despair, sadness. And there's the three wands. That's the ability to move forward, to expand, to grow, to lay the groundwork, get on the moving ship. And there's the sun, happiness, clarity, certainty, seeing our way out, and the lovers in reverse. I feel that's the partnership here. Okay, so the path, we couldn't see the path. You know, maybe that person was removed or that option was removed. That situation didn't reveal itself, wasn't in our sight anymore, you know. The joy wasn't in our sight anymore. The path was sort of removed here from us. How would we get to get on that ship, to expand, to grow this thing, this project? Nine of Cups in reverse, not getting what we want, being emotionally unsatisfied. Chariot, we couldn't move forward. Cancer, okay, we were stuck. We were halted to once. So, Two of Wands is all about a choice. And this is sort of like the lovers here, except the lovers is, is major arcana. The, the Two of Wands is in our hands, in our ability. So I feel like your ability has been to sort of choose what is in front of you for now. Okay, that's the only thing that you've been able to control for now. And I feel like we're seeing the moon here in the distance as well. And so I feel like we there's a part of this whole project we couldn't see in the distance here in the future. We can only navigate and choose what's sort of in front of us for now. Look at that six cups. Person, place, thing of the past, returning. Okay, returning here. And so I feel like you've been having to work with whatever's in front of you here because something's been really halted. Okay, so this is sort of confirming the whole thing you were getting with the with the oracles. Now let's see past this. Okay, because I feel like you were devastated here with the Nine of Cups in reverse, didn't get what you wanted, emotionally unfulfilled, Five Cups. So what is this blessing then? Can we get a little deeper in regards to this blessing? How is this going to shift for pile number three then? What is this shift, this blessing, this change? How is pile three going to be impacted here? How is this going to progress and move forward? So we have strength moving forward through courage. So I feel like we're having to show some courage here. Think optimistically, be open, not to be held back. Because I feel like maybe this is our first sort of reaction here. Okay, look, it's very similar. Look at this mouth, the lion, the reaction here. Might be a little aggressive. You know, we might be a little aggressive here towards whatever this answer is, but I feel like this is your solution to whatever this thing is moving forward. High Priestess in reverse, we don't see. We can't see maybe how this is going to work. We might not trust it. We might not listen to a greater knowing here of something deeper and greater that we're having to be open to. Okay, so we're having to face our courage, the fear of the moon here to still allow ourselves to trust in this process the king of swords so this is um gemini libra aquarius three swords in reverse I feel like we were hurt we were disappointed by the past here we may have needed to recover from a three swords someone's words actions intentions left, left us feeling heartbroken you know we've had to show courage despite this pain eight pentacles there's the work card investing staying dedicated putting our time or energy and our effort towards something and the ten cups being emotionally happy with another here which i feel is the building of something here that brings ten cups to you and someone else in partnership and the king of swords and this is somebody who is strategic someone who has a plan someone who comes forward with communication and a vision here that is very thoughtful and strategic six of swords moving out of difficult energy okay moving out of difficult energy Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This was the manifestation that didn't happen. So very clear. Pile three. You're a big blessing. I feel like you might resist. Okay, you might resist this because I feel like you've been hurt in the past and you might have to work with the same people or you might have to trust them again. You don't want to get hurt. You don't really see how this could work. You know, your past experience might have been something that was just, you know, the proof's in the pudding here. So you didn't trust it. But the universe is saying have faith, trust. You're moving out of difficult energies. Okay, and whoever you're working with here might come forward with a plan or a vision here that you're needing to just sort of entertain. Okay, like allow yourself to work in a way here that invests energy towards your happiness, but 
that can collaborate and come together with someone else, okay, to pick up where the manifestation didn't happen so that you can move out of any five sword situations that resulted in the past here because this is the only thing that's going to liberate and, and allow you to be free. So even if we don't see, you know, even if we don't see, we have to trust your intuition, even if there's fear, and we have to allow the universe to help us move forward with this because I feel like this is going to be the missing piece. The blessing, the thing that's going to liberate you, that's going to thaw the ice here. Okay, so final message. Anything I've missed here for Kyle? I feel like a card went flying. Weird. For pile number three, final message. Anything I've missed? Any questions pile three is still asking about this beautiful blessing? There it is. Vampire in reverse. I think somebody definitely wasn't stand up in the past. You were feeling disempowered because I feel someone took away your power. Or you were feeling like you couldn't do the thing you wanted to do here because of someone else's inability to engage or to stand up or to do the right thing. Wheel of Fortune. Things got stuck. Things didn't move. It wasn't the right time. Something divinely guided here with the Wheel of Fortune. Two cups. Two people coming together. Balanced union. Wherever things were unjust, where things were imbalance, where you couldn't find justice, I feel this person's coming back to create justice here. Okay. The Hierophant in reverse. So someone who was maybe uncommitted, somebody who didn't see the greater value or the greater purpose here. Okay. So it's, it's it remained stuck. It was something that didn't flow. It wasn't the right time here. Interesting, we have Peacock and an Emperor, so we could be having Ego showing up here. Maybe somebody was stuck in Ego in some way, or stuck in some sort of reverse Hierophant. He's a source. The truth reveals itself. So communication here, a greater truth is shown and seen. And with that King of Swords, it could be this person coming with a greater truth of understanding, with a plan of action here, and Six Pentacles working together. Okay, so I feel like this is a, a balanced coming together. Both people are contributing equally here. Both people contributing equal here, where things are imbalanced, unjust, not working um, towards your favor here because you felt like it was something that it was just imbalanced and unjust for you. Okay, and now it's turning to something very balanced. And look, the world in reverse. And I don't leave bottom of the deck reverse. World, conclusion successful end of cycles whatever this thing is the last piece you can close the chapter the last piece the world successful conclusion okay this person's showing up the balance is restored the justice is restored in a situation that was on standstill that was frozen you're now liberated to close this chapter out okay but remember you're supposed to be thinking optimistically being open here okay but i do want to see why is your reaction like this why is your reaction? I think it's because of how this situation was very unjust, where it sort of left you, you know, and maybe the last thing you want to do is repeat something here or trust someone or the plan someone has here. That is your reaction. So let's see, Spirit, why is, what is this card about here? Can we get some clarity on this card? What is this revealing, this expression on this person's face here? That will help Pile 3 understand. Eight of Pentacles. Working towards something, being dedicated, putting your energy and your effort towards something here. Five Pentacles. That it didn't, it didn't produce anything here. It left you feeling Five Pentacles. But Spirit is saying we can come out of this Five Pentacles. We don't have to stay in the Five Pentacles. Okay, so we have to continue to work and put energy and effort towards something here, which we might not want to because our experience has been feeling left out in the cold. It didn't work. So now we've given up, or now we just think, well, it's not going to work. And here's saying, be open. Think optimistically. If it didn't work the first few times, with a little effort and energy and dedication, we can get out of the five pentacles. We can get out of the five pentacles. We don't have to, you know, stay sort of in the shocked energy. Hierophant in reverse. This is commitment, a higher um, value of understanding. And there again, six pentacles coming together to find balance to give and take equal reciprocity, finding the, the balance between two people where one was giving and one was taking and one's taking and one's giving and then the roles could certainly be reversed, but I feel it's balanced now, okay? And there's a deeper understanding here of something you can commit to, a vision. So no need to be totally feeling this way, although 
I mean, you might feel this way. Think of coming out of any sort of situation here where you've been feeling left out. The keys in your hand, okay, the keys in your hand where you want to invest your energy, but to be open, okay, and you might be seeing something as a risk here, but it's an opportunity here for you to enjoy something. And it is a blessing, and I feel it takes you out of despair, five pentacles, into something very privileged here, okay? So, and abundant with the fish. You are protected. Remember that, pile number three. So, this is what you have for your reading, beautiful pile three. I wish you guys the very, very best, and I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.